was guapping. Was guapping. Wait for that one mean yo. Wait for that one mean yo. Eddie Carswell was trapped. Was trapped. Let me turn my brightness on my screen up. I ain't got no time to be squinting. And I ain't got no time for all that, Lord. Turn that up nice and brizzle. Turn that up nice and brizzle. Word up. Word up. Raise it up. <sighs> like my little half a slimmy up. Like my little half a slimmy up right quick. Old school with it, baby. That new MDX is on the road, baby. I'm seeing that new MDX on the road. I'm gonna keep it real with you. The best, the best motherfucking, the best uh, economy budget, the best looking economy budget car right now is the Mazdas, bro. That Mazda CX-9, that shit is nice, nice, noise, noise. But them shits is so cheap. I wouldn't even get a CX-9 because I already got a three, a three row SUV. So I would just get a two row if I get another joint. I get that QX, I mean that CX-5. That shit starts at $26,000, my nigga. You could literally finance one of them shits and own that shit in three years if you wanted to. If you wanted to pay like $800 a month, you could literally own one of them joints in three years. That's yours, you own it, three year old joint. And the resale value on them shits when you sell one of the, and not just that car, but any car in that price range, you feel what I'm saying? You could literally own that shit in three years. That's how financing works for the better. Financing is, financing is good when you want to buy a cheap new car. If you want to buy a cheap new car, you don't want to be making payments, you want to own the shit, that's what financing is good for. But that's for when you want to buy a car and you got the bread. You understand what I'm saying? If you finance when you don't really have the bread, you're going to be paying high ass interest rates or bad credit. You're going to be paying high ass interest rates and all of that dumb shit. But if you got good ass credit and you want to motherfucking buy a car, finance that shit. Do pay that shit off in three years instead of the six years. Don't let them stretch it out to six years. Pay that shit in three years. It'd be $800 a month or some shit like that. But that should be yours in three, 36 months. You own that fucking brand new car. You understand what I'm saying? That's yours. You own it. That shit different. That shit hit a little different. You feel what I'm saying? So all of them shits could be smart. Financing could be smart if you know what you're doing. Leasing could be smart if you know what you're doing. Certified pre-owned could be smart if you know what you're doing. It's all about what you're in the market for. You're... King Far Rock, what's poppin'? Richie H, what's poppin'? Georgia, what up? It's nice out here, man. 
I, I ain't really need this jacket, but I bought it with me anyway. I guess I would, if I ain't had no jacket, I'd probably feel a little bit cold. You feel what I'm saying? But um, it's 50 degrees out this, out this piece. You feel me? 50 cash. That ain't too warm. 50 cash in the daytime by nighttime is gonna be 40. And that 40 is ain't that 40 ain't comfortable unless you got a good jacket on. Screed up. Screed up. non truth was popping. I appreciate you, bro. You know, a lot of y'all dudes is not even more online yet, man, because according to the analytics, y'all don't get online for another few hours. But, um, I'm feeling spicy today. You heard? So I'm dropping shit early and all of that. You heard? I was on live earlier today, but I told dudes I would check back in before that episode dropped. So I'm just going to come on here and do a quick little quick little live let people know that new episode is out make sure they watch it that is something i'm supposed to be doing today what is it that i gotta do something i gotta do that i'm not remembering what the fuck is it what do i gotta do is it an interview with somebody i think it's an interview with somebody that i'm thinking about yeah, man. Yes, sir. No, in truth, I appreciate you, my brother. Pretty appreciate that donation. But speaking of investors, like I said, if you want to invest in a movie, I'm writing my first movie right now. You understand what I'm saying? You see what I be doing on this channel. You know I'm not doing no moves. I'm only doing shit to win. You heard? So if you want to invest in a street movie, I got a street movie that you can invest in, bro. Or sis. So if you got that cake, holla at me with that cake. So I can make you a part of this legendary movie that I'm putting together right now. I was getting my right on crazy yesterday, Nuggles. I love to write though, man. It's just hard to find time for that shit. But when I do find time, I'm a beast, my nigga. I'm a beast with that writing shit. Wailing. But yeah, my niggas, let me see what time it is, man. That new episode is dropping at 12 cash. You feel me? Great episode, man. Great episode. Great episode. But I ain't gonna ruin. I ain't gonna spoil it. You gotta watch it for yourself. Slim blunt getting too short to to light up. I'm gonna have to roll something up. Yeah, that Peter Pan. I gotta holla at the bro Peter Pan. I'ma holla at him when I get off this live. I gotta holla at the bro Peter Pan so we could do that part six. Knock that off by the end of this week. Have that out by the end of this week, if not sooner. You feel what I'm saying? It's a couple of joints I gotta do, man. A couple of interviews I gotta do, man. Got some big content coming. Got some real big content coming to the channel soon. Trust me. Next level different shit. Next level different shit, my niggas. Word the mother.
yeah, that new episode dropper, 12 Cash. Make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all comment on that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, got to stir this shit up, baby. Got to stir this shit up like a pot of cheese grits. You heard? Got to stir this shit up right. My grit game is right, man. That slash app be out there, my nigga. That slash app be out there. But I'm definitely gonna put that in the premiere room. That slash app be on deck, word. That slash app be on deck, baby. I, 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 I gotta stop putting just the joint. I gotta put the link. Make shit easier. Niggas don't be feeling like remembering names and shit. Niggas just want to click on that shit, go straight to it. Bloop, 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 bloop. You heard? That's why I got the link in the comments of this new episode that's dropping right now. Nigga just click on that shit. Boom, bang. Hold his 10 racks down. You heard? King Sun Ra was popping. Salute. Yeah, man. I'm about to roll up another joint because this little shit ain't getting it, man. I be mad. I be mad cheap. I don't be wanting to throw away a little clip. That shit got one butt in it. I be having like a half an ounce, half an ounce in my pocket, and I still be holding on to a little clip that got one good little bug in that shit. I be walking around with that shit for an hour. Then I gotta tell myself, nigga. You have a lot of weed. Throw that shit away. You heard? But the dirty, rotten scoundrel that's in me, I'll be like, nah, nigga, that's a whole, that's like a whole L. Damn, school bus drove by. Kids saw me popping out the eighth, man. Gotta be low. I don't know what school going by, but they probably coming from a trip or they going to a trip. Going to a trill snip. You hurt? I don't want the kids to see me popping out the motherfucking. Popping out that motherfucking eighth. You hurt? But yeah, man, can't smoke weed forever, man. One day I'm gonna stop smoking weed, bro. One day I'm gonna get tired of this. I think when I get rich, I'm gonna stop, stop smoking weed. So I don't want to be having mad money, smelling like mad weed. Nigga be up in the opera. Nigga be invited to a Broadway, a mad motherfucking Tony Award winning Broadway play. My shit come through smelling like mad dank. I'm the only nigga in the whole shit smelling like mad dank. You heard? It's like, damn, man. Nigga eyes low. Can't be doing that shit forever, man. Eventually, you're gonna have to stop fucking with that Frankenstein. You heard? That Dankenstein. It's fucked up, though. I'll be scared to put Vizine in my eyes. I wanna see if Vizine really works. Like, if you smoke a blunt, your eyes is all low and red. If you hit that shit with Vizine, will that shit look normal? I don't be, I don't be playing the eye game, man. I don't be playing putting that shit in my eye, man. Her, so I don't be fucking with like Vizine and Claricel. I mean Clairol or whatever the fuck that shit is. Clear eyes. I don't be fucking with it, man. But I gotta try that Vizine out, man. See if that shit really works, man. Word up. I don't be fucking with that motherfucking. I don't be fucking with the drops and all of that, man. That shit be rough. Dropping them shits in your eyeball. I don't play eyeball games, man. I play many games, but I don't play eyeball games. If you ever was smoking a, smoking some raw and you had that shit sitting in your mouth too long, pause, and the paper gets stuck to your lip and you pull that shit off, that shit pull half your lip skin off. 
Let's sue the shit out y'all niggas raw. Word up, y'all niggas gotta fix that, son. Y'all paper be getting stuck to niggas' lips, son. Nigga pull that shit out of shit, rip nigga whole lip off. Nigga whole lip be bleeding, like, know what I mean? Y'all gotta make that paper less sticky to the lips. Yershk. That's how my grandmoms used to be, I'ma keep it real. My grandmother, my Puerto Rican grandmother, she used to have a Newport, she used to have a Newport long hanging from her side of her shit like this. That shit be steaming. She just be like this. Do you need money? Do you need money for candy? Hey, let me give you money for candy. She be hitting me with 40 cash. My shit eight. My shit eight years old. My grandma used to be hitting me with 40 cash. Like, hey, go play, go play game and get candy. Motherfucking cigarette be like this. That's my word. That should be down here, son. It should be lit. I don't know how she did it. Shit be steaming all up in her face. She just be regular like this. Cooking rice and beans. Shit like this. Shit steaming over the rice and beans like this. Ash dumb long like this. That shit not even falling. I'm like, yo. That shit was different, my nigga. Word the mother. Shit, cooking, walking around the house, cleaning the house, making the beds. It should be like this. Like, what the fuck? Straight, straight limousine like this. What's happening? Or the mother. I'll be walking around the streets like this sometimes. Niggas be looking at me like I'm crazy. I'll be like this. You're, you hurt? Up north, we used to be some funny niggas. We used to bend our shits up. You know, you be having to like, you know, hide them sticks and shit. So up north, niggas be like this. I used to come to y'all, be like this, yo, who got the light? Who got the light, Lord? You heard? Shit be like this. You heard? You heard? This bitch be like this shit. Shit playing tricks on my mind. I think I'm touching the flame, but I'm not. Ah! Ah! Smoking that curveball. It's crazy how you pay mad money for a car, right? You pay mad bread for a car, and then you gotta drive around oh, advertising man, them man. niggas all day. Like, they put their big ass logo on the front of your shit. Like, yeah, nigga, do our free advertising. Like, that shit is a crazy hustle. Like, you pay 50,000 for that shit, then you on the road with that shit, advertising for them niggas for free all year round. That's why I be seeing niggas with like, certified pre-owned benzes and audis and all that shit and it be having a certified pre-owned dealership name on the back nigga that's coming off nigga i wish the fuck i would be paying y'all niggas monthly for this car and advertising y'all dealership at the same time should be like uh, curry acura nigga that curry sign is coming the fuck off i don't care how much i gotta pay for that shit i'm not advertising y'all niggas Fuck is y'all y'all paying me to keep that curry sign on that bitch? If not, that shit coming off, nigga. I wish the fuck I would. Bad enough, I'm av I'm advertising the Acura for free. I gotta advertise your dealership too? Nah, Lord. And I don't. I'm not talking just about curry. 
but any 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 certified pre-owned dealership they be bugging putting their names on the back of the niggas cars audi open road open road audi like nah bro no way now if y'all think i don't know i heard that shit but i don't know how true that is now if y'all taking some money off that finance if y'all knocking off one hundred and fifty dollars or two hundred dollars off that front, off that payment every month, then you know, I drive around with that shit on there, no problem. Or my grandpa used to have them limos. That's what we used to call one hundreds. Like yo, nigga got them limousines, nigga. Yo, go get me a pack of Newports limos. You heard? That's how niggas was smoking in that four building, man. Like I said, nigga, we was smoking like mad Russians in that C74. We was bugging the fuck out. How niggas 16 cash? How niggas was 16 cash smoking straight packs of stale cools because you know all them rikers island cigarettes used to be stale in the motherfucker them soft packs them soft packs go stale my nigga the hard packs stay fresh but them soft packs them shits go stale in the pack you heard that's why we used to call them shits new yorkers the niggas come through yo you got new yorkers that means a nigga came through with new ports from the streets them shits taste totally different from them rikers island soft packs you feel what i'm saying niggas was buying cools my nigga if they ain't had no new ports man give me them cools them cools nigga Psst. ain't no way in the world niggas supposed to be smoking a 16 year old lung is supposed to be inhaling a cool my nigga them shits was treacherous And them dead incidents, them shits taste disgusting. Dead incidents? Nothing more disgusting than them shits. Dead incidents was like Rikers Island, some off brand cigarette that Rikers Island sold when you couldn't afford the Newports, you could buy some shits called dead incidents. That's what they called them anyway. Man, listen, that nigga started calling niggas that, yo, that nigga's a fucking dead incident. Shits was disgusting. Did incidents? Them shits was disgusting, my nigga. OG Sunny Black was populated. Sean Porter was really good. Big Dice in the building was really. DeAndre Crosby was popular. Dave Dollar was populated. I filmed the episode of motherfucking Fat Vegetarian last night. Straight jacket. But I don't want to over falafel y'all out. So I'm going to leave that one. I'll edit that one a couple of weeks or something, man. I don't know how I feel. Because, you know, I just hit y'all niggas from with a falafel spot pause. But I am I did another falafel spot, though. That's That shit was delicious yesterday. That shit was delicious. But I only did that shit because I had to go down there anyway. So I was down there. I said, man, fuck that. Man, I'm knocking out an episode of the fatty. I knocked that shit out right quick. But that wasn't the plan. Your sh Twelve o'clock. New episode dropping. New series dropping. As you see, man, I'm type of nigga. I do a bunch of series, man, and I have no time frame on these series. So it's like, you know. Them shits drop when they drop. It's like American justice out this motherfucker. You feel know what I'm saying? But I'm starting a new series called How I Became a Killer. Where I'm going to be digging into the minds of some notorious killers. And see what made them that way so that we could, you know, we doing some, we doing diag we diagnosing shit, man. Like Pac, like my son Pac diagnosed thug life. The hate you gave little infants fucks everybody. That's a diagnosis. It's not a cure. It's a diagnosis. He diagnosed it. Yo, this is what it is. This is why we the way we are. 
because of the hate they give little infants. Oh, and, and, and after, when it's all said and done, it fucks everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Us, y'all, everybody. The hate y'all gave us, you feel what I'm saying? You diagnosed the problem. So this is what we out here doing. We still diagnosing the problem so niggas can get help, my nigga. You know what I mean? And no matter what nobody say, nigga, we making, we, we changing niggas' lives with this channel because there's niggas out there listening that be hitting me up. And there's niggas out there that's out there, they out there wilding and doing dumb shit. But when they listen to this channel, when they listen to the regrets of some of these real motherfuckers, you know, they think, they think differently, my nigga. You know what I mean? You do have a percentage of people out there that will learn from others' mistakes. Of course, you will always have niggas who gotta, they don't believe shit stinks, so you gotta rub, their face gotta get rubbed in the shit to believe that it stinks. And then you got some other motherfuckers like, nah, man, I heard that shit stink. I'm staying away from that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you got different type of niggas out there, but for those who, who will take niggas word for it that the shit stink. We giving niggas some stories on here about the shit stinking. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're a smart individual, you learn from them stories and you and you and you make better decisions with your life, my nigga. Cause you nobody, no matter how action packed jail sound sound, we talk about the action in jail, but we are not gonna sit here and talk about the boredom in that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? When you sitting up in one of them dorms playing motherfucking cards every day for a whole two months with nothing going on same tv shows on all day every day you know we ain't talking about that you feel what i'm saying we ain't, ain't talking about the monotony going to a motherfucking floor covering class at nine in the morning like we ain't talking about that ain't no excitement in that you feel what i'm saying not saying nothing wrong with learning floor covering but I'm just saying, when your ass being forced to program and all of that dumb shit, we ain't talking none of them stories. You feel what I'm saying? We're talking about the action. The boring shit was boring, but it was a lot of boring motherfucking days, nigga. Sitting up, you know what I used to hate? I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Cause I never was really a monster football fan. I was more of a basketball fan, baseball fan, but mostly a basketball fan. I wasn't a super football fan. So, in, on Sundays, in, up north when football used to come on, everybody be watching football. That shit ain't moved me, son. Sports didn't move me for a long period of time, period, because I was in jail. And that shit just made me say, fuck sports. But then I got into the Knicks again, or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? But football, Sundays come on, niggas be playing football and watching football on TV. That shit used to be the most depressing day to me, my nigga. Because nobody, everybody be just stuck on the TV watching football and the whole dorm be mad, quiet. It won't be no action. That shit used to have me stressed, nigga. Because on a regular day, you know, niggas has got, got to go to programs. Niggas is going shuffling in and out the yard. Niggas is going, everything moving re regular. But on Sundays, niggas is laid back. Niggas is cooking. Niggas is watching football. That laid back shit used to kill me, nigga. That shit used to kill me. That quiet and laid back shit, that shit, I couldn't, that shit was like worse than a box for me. Niggas don't want to go outside. Let's go to the yard. Nah, the football game coming on. My nigga, let's go to the fucking yard, nigga. Are you crazy? The niggas be on that football, nigga. But yeah, man. Hold on. Yeah, we four minutes to to that episode. Drills and ops, you heard? Word the mother. Yeah, I remember them bullshit ass BDs. Niggas used to be smoking them shits too. Them shits is disgusting. I think BDs was hemp. I think BDs was like hemp. Them shits were terrible. I'm going to keep it real with you, my nigga. Them shits were terrible. BDs, I couldn't get I couldn't get in the swing with them shits. I hit them a couple of times, but I couldn't get in the swing with them BDs, my nigga. It was a certain type of nigga who smoked BDs. 
after a while, we should start again a little dusty repetition. Black and miles too. There's a certain type of people who who really like black and miles. Like if it's a chick, if you fuck with a chick and she smoked them blacks, nigga, I'ma give you a warning, man. Just go the other way. Don't fuck with her. Don't even fuck her. If you fuck, if you go to a chick crib or a chick come to your crib and she's squeezing out the cancer paper out of a black and mild and putting the tobacco in with the plastic. You better get the fuck out that bitch crib, my nigga. But that bitch robbed, shoot, she in a gang. Two of her brothers is gang leaders. They in different gangs. You, you feel me? She smuggled dope to the pen. She was on an island. Telling you, bro. If she smoked black and miles, you, you don't want to have a kid with a bitch who smoked black and miles, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. Because if she smoked black and miles, she don't give a fuck about life. She don't give a fuck about life, nigga. She smoked black and miles. She not scared of death. A nigga who smoked black and miles is, looks, stares death into the eyes every day and says, fuck you, death. Eat a dick, Def. That's the type of niggas who smoke black and miles, nigga. They telling Def to eat a dick every day. Niggas be crazy out here going through that 20 minute process of taking the tobacco out of a black and mild. That's just a 20 minute process, nigga. I don't know what type of nigga got that type of patience. You got some patience, nigga. You know how to take that shit out, put it back in? Nah. I smoked that shit with the cancer paper in it and all that, nigga. First of all, you're not ever supposed to be. Let's just get a little, let's get a little history and facts on cigars and black and mouths. You're not supposed to inhale them, brothers. You are not supposed to inhale a black and mild. You're not supposed to inhale a cigar. You are supposed to roll the smoke around in your mouth and blow it out and, and absorb the flavor of it. You are not supposed to put that cigar smoke into your lungs. That shit is highly cancerous. And Black and Mouse is a cigar, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, that episode is premiering right now. Know what I mean? Spark your Black and Mouse and meet me over there at the premiere. You're 